Hey there, it's Shauna Tenney. I'm an author and an illustrator, and I'm here today with another Photoshop tutorial. You can find me at shaunajctenney.com and shaunajctenney.blogspot.com. So in my work as an illustrator, I often get asked to put the characters into a separate layer than the background. This is also a great technique to use when making storybook apps, because then you can use the different parts of the illustration to move them around for the animation. Well, so what if you draw your drawing in just one layer, or what if you draw it with pencil and scan it into the computer and it's just in one layer? How do I separate out the different parts of the drawing, like for example, the different characters, and put them each into their own layer? Well, I'm going to show you that today. So what I'm going to do is click on Channels, select the channels, and then select Inverse. So now just the lines are selected. Then I'm going to go and make a new layer and go to my swatches, choose black, click Alt and Delete and that spills in just the lines in the new layer. Then I'll make a new layer and deselect by clicking Command D and select all by clicking Command A. Then I'm going to go to my swatches, select white and then in the new layer click Alt Delete and that fills in the new layer with white, as you can see. So you have your line layer and your white layer. If you click on the line layer, it should disappear, and you, all you should see is white. Then I click Command D to deselect everything, go to my Layers palette, select my line layer, drag it down to the new layer icon down at the bottom of the layer palette. That makes a copy of the line layer. Now I have three identical line layers. I'll rename my layers. The bottom one will be background, the middle one will be children, and the top one will be for the witch. Her name is Brunhilde. Now I will click on the background layer and I will select my lasso tool and I will make an outline around the witch, Brunhilde. Now I'll hold down shift to add to the selection and outline around the little girls riding bikes. Now I can use the option key to take out parts of the selection that I don't want. Now I will click delete and everything that is selected in the background layer will be deleted. You can see if it worked out by turning the visibility off on the other two layers. Now I will turn the visibility back on all my layers and I will click on the top layer which will be the layer for the witch. Now I will go to the select menu and select inverse and what that does is it will select everything else in the image so instead of having the witch and the children selected everything else that it was not selected before is now selected. So I want everything in my drawing to be selected except the witch, so I'll get my lasso tool, hold down shift, and draw a circle around the little girls in the picture, and that adds to the selection. Now I'll click delete and everything that's selected in the layer will be deleted. As you can see when I turn off the other layers, all that's left in that layer is the witch. Now I'll turn the visibility back on my, all my layers and I will click on the children layer, click command D to deselect everything, and trace around the children. Then I'll go to the select menu and click on inverse, and that of course selects everything but the kids. Then I'll click delete, and as you can see when the uh, other layers are turned off. Everything else is deleted except the children. Now I have separate layers for the background and the children and the witch. Now I'll just go ahead and fill in some details that were missing in the background drawing.
Now if you turn back on the visibility of the layers, you can see that you can see parts of the background sketch through the other sketches, but that won't matter later when you color in each layer separately. What I like to do is have a separate color layer for each sketch layer. So I would have a background color layer, a children color layer, and then a color layer for the witch. And then I keep my sketch layers because I like keeping my sketch in my painting. Here's a quick example of what I do with this technique. I've turned off all of the layers except the background layer and I'm just painting in the background layer first. I like to change the color of my lines so I can use my sketch right into, in my painting. So I click on my background sketch layer and I click on that little checkered box on the top of the layer palette and that locks the layer. So now I paint with an opacity of 10 and now it will just paint on the lines only. So now I've made my witch layers visible and I will paint on my witch color layer. Here's an example of what I did with a client job. As you can see I have my background sketch and then I have an under layer and then an overlayer which goes over the sketch and I did the same with the people. So now if I select all three of the layers that the people are on and merge them together then as you can see I can move them around in a separate layer. This is a great technique to use if you're making an app or for any other situation in which you may need to move things around in separate layers. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and come visit me at shaunajctenney.com and shaunajctenney.blogspot.com where you can find more industry tips and tutorials.